Hello there, my name is Chris Scullion. You may know me for my various video games writing pursuits, um, which include uh, writing a number of video game books uh, published by the fine folks at Pen and Sword. Um, a number of years back, I published the Nintendo Entertainment System NES Encyclopedia, a lovely tome, if I do say so myself. Uh, that was followed up by the SNES Encyclopedia. This is the paperback version, but there is also a hardback one. Um, and then the Mega Drive and Genesis Encyclopedia, which was uh, crossed over to Sega for the first time. Um, similarly uh, lengthy tome. And just uh, last month, um, I released Jumping for Joy, a book about platform video games and um, all the joys that they provide. Um Earlier than usual now, I would like to show you my fifth book and the fourth in my encyclopedia series. This is the N64 oh, I them out of the, way. the N64 encyclopedia. Every game released for the Nintendo 64. And what's this cheeky wee bit here? Includes all Japanese and 64 DD games. Um, like all the other books in my series, this is a hefty thick tome uh, hardback effort uh, covering every N64 game, like it says. Now... This one may look a bit different to some of my other books, uh, mainly because the N64 library was um, noticeably, uh, notably smaller than those of the NES and the SNES and the Mega Drive. Um, so the, the, the choice had to be made. Do we make a slimmer book um, that's cheaper and not as kind of impressive? Or do we go full thickness, which, as you can see, I've very much done. It's just as thick as the other encyclopedias. Um... So how is this possible? Well, if we go back to the Mega Drive book, the Mega Drive book's got nearly a thousand games in it. Um, and as a result, it's crammed. Like every page has mainly quarter pages. There's a few half pages in there, like Outrun. The, the kind of notable games get a half page. There are no full page games in, in this book. Um, just to fit them all in, basically. Um, it's quarters or halves. N64 is the complete opposite. Um, it consists mainly of full page in the Western section. Um, it's mainly full pages. So most games, the vast majority of the games, have full pages. There'll be some half pages like Pikachu, Hey Pikachu and Hexen, but most are full pages this time. So you're getting the full whack. Um, and in the back, South Park, in the back you are now getting, as promised, every Japanese game. Um, and that also includes the 64DD titles as well. And as ever, you've got an index at the back, which gives you every game and their Japanese titles. So if you're on eBay um, and you see, let me find an example here. If you're on eBay or and you see someone selling Deadly Arts and you don't know what it is, you might not realise it's also known as Gasp Fighters and Extreme, um, which is what it's under in this book, so you can find it there. Um, same deal if you're searching Japanese games and you see Blast Dozer, um, you might not realise that's Blast Core. Um, so there we go, that is the full, um, the full Nintendo 64 encyclopedia, WWF games and everything. Um, I'll slowly scan the index so you can see that absolutely everything is indeed in here. Um, if you're sitting going, oh yeah, but does he have Fushigi no Dungeon Furai no Shiren 2 Unai Shur Unai Shurai Shiren Jo? I do. And if you're sitting there going, oh well, fair enough, everyone's got that though, but does he have Shin Nihon Pro Wrestling took on road to the next generation? I do. Oh, but does he have GQ Powerful Pro Yaku Basic Band 2001? I do. So that's everything that's in the book. Um, and there we go. Um, 30 of your English pounds. Um, or Scottish pounds indeed, 39.95 of your US dollars, um, but it can also be bought um, in any country you desire, um, assuming you don't desire North Korea or somewhere kind of wild. Um, but for the most part, um, all kind of international bookstores should be selling it, um, feeling that there are a couple of good uh, bookstores that are selling it. Uh, worldwide shipping. I'll put some links in the description for this video so that if you quite fancy it and you'd like to pre-order it, I can give you loads of links for loads of different countries so you can pick at will. Um, thank you very much. Hopefully those of you who buy it enjoy it. Uh, leave me a wee review on Amazon or whatever. 
because uh, that always helps to, to sell more. And next year, we'll be back with the Dreamcast Encyclopedia. Um, so yeah, fun times. Cheers, guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.